Imagine looking at your space and seeing beautiful decorative concrete, but over time, the color begins to fade, look uneven, or even change completely. Sounds like a homeowner's nightmare, right? Well, this is exactly what can happen when uncontrolled moisture takes hold of your decorative concrete. But never fear, Wagner Meters is here with an informative video so that you can save your decorative concrete and in turn, save time and money. In today's video, we're going to tackle the main culprit that might ruin your concrete, moisture. Where does this moisture come from? Why is my concrete turning white? How does moisture impact different stains and sealers? And most importantly, how do I avoid moisture related issues to begin with? Stay tuned to know exactly what you should do to keep your decorative concrete looking great. Now let's get started. First, let's talk about the two main sources of moisture in concrete water used to mix the concrete, and moisture from external sources. The first is exactly what it sounds like, the volume of water used to mix the cement into concrete. The second can actually be multiple things. There are several external sources of moisture. A few of those include water migrating from the ground, moisture in the air, and pooling water if the concrete is on a slope. Wherever your moisture comes from, both water used in the mixture and external sources of moisture can interfere with the stain and sealer of your decorative concrete. One unsightly indicator that there is excess moisture in your concrete is called efflorescence. If you've ever looked at your concrete and wondered, why is my concrete turning white? You've probably seen efflorescence. Efflorescence is a white, salty residue on the surface of your concrete. As the concrete dries and the excess moisture begins to rise from the slab, salts that have been trapped in the concrete rise up to the surface as well. These salts are what cause the white appearance on your concrete. If your concrete has been stained but not sealed, efflorescence will manifest as a powdery film. If your concrete has been sealed, then the salts will be trapped underneath the sealer, creating the appearances of white blush over the surface of the concrete. However, efflorescence is just one factor that can keep your concrete from looking its best. The stains and sealers used on your decorative concrete, if plagued by excess and uncontrolled moisture, can cause aesthetic problems. First, let's talk about stains. There are two different kinds of stains, reactive and non-reactive. You can tell if your reactive stain indicates moisture damage a few different ways. The first is with undesirable color changes. Whenever excess moisture is present in the concrete, the salts and acids that color the stain might change completely. For example, blue and green stains can turn brown or black. While the exact cause of this isn't clear, it's often attributed to oxidation or fungus, both of which occur when there is too much moisture present. The next evidence of moisture damage with reactive stains are lighter or uneven coloring. When efflorescence occurs, stain permeation slows down. Ultimately, the moisture interferes with the chemical process necessary to color the concrete, which results in lighter or uneven coloring. The second kind of stain, non-reactive, in the presence of excess moisture leads to several different issues. Non-reactive stains color the concrete by filling the concrete's pores or by creating a film that sits on the concrete surface. But whenever there is excess moisture present, Issues like flaking and peeling, bubbling or blisters and dark spots can occur either because the moisture inhibits the stain from bonding with the concrete or trapped moisture is unable to evaporate. However, stains aren't the only aspect of decorative concrete that might react negatively to excess moisture. Moisture is definitely something to look out for when applying a sealer, whether water-based or solvent-based. The following are possible results if moisture is left unchecked during the sealing process powdery or white substance on the surface of the concrete, grayish or cloudy spots, whitening color, cracking, chipping, or peeling, or frothy foam. So yes, there's a lot to think about when wanting to keep your decorative concrete looking beautiful if moisture runs rampant. But there is a way to avoid all of this difficulty. Accurately testing the relative humidity of your concrete slab is the most important thing you can do to avoid unsightly and costly moisture-related failures. If stains and sealers are applied when the moisture condition of the slab reaches an acceptable level, many of these problems can be avoided. 
That's why you need a test that will accurately evaluate the true moisture condition of the concrete slab. The Wagner Meter's Rapid RH and Situ probes are placed at a 40% depth within the concrete slab. This is the most accurate way to determine the moisture level of your slab. Knowing this information will help you know if you can apply a finish to your concrete or if you need to wait. If you want your decorative concrete to look beautiful for as long as possible, take the necessary steps to properly evaluate the moisture condition of your slab. Wagner Meter's Rapid RH testing is the best option. Now that you have this information, you can approach concrete projects and decorative concrete with confidence. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jason Spangler with Wagner Meters, and I'll see you in the next video.